What's going on everybody, Jeremy with Detroit Tech. I'm branching out today. You've seen me review some mice on the channel and really no matter what brand they are, I've always gone back to my current Logitech mouse. Now, I do have my reasons. It's got the left right mouse wheel click and I'm always intrigued by other offerings out there though. And I currently use the G502 Lightspeed, which I don't know, might be just the heaviest mouse out there right now. But I love the fact that it's wireless I don't have to worry about charging it because right here I have the PowerPlay mouse pad, which we did do a video on that, which you can check out over here. But after watching some mouse reviews across YouTube, I figured it was really time to stop being a wireless snob, maybe give my hand a rest. Um, enter the Extrify M4 RGB. Now, Extrify did not send this to us. We definitely bought this with our own money, though we'd love to work with you guys in the future, Extrify. <laughs> we did get the retro edition because it basically looks like a Nintendo or at least makes me like think about Nintendo when I see it. And I'll put a link in the description below too if you're interested in purchasing the mouse for yourself and of course helping support the channel. So let's do a quick feature tour. The M4 features six buttons, the top right and left click, which are Omron switches rated at 20 million clicks. There's the center mouse button or the wheel button, back, forward, side buttons, and the RGB effects button. The sensor is a Pixar 3389 optical gaming sensor. And of course, joining the sensor on the bottom is the polling rate switch, which you can do 125, 500, and 1000 Hertz, and the PTFE glides, and of course, the CPI button. Also on the box, you'll find the quick start guide, which is short and very useful, and two keycaps. The red extra fine one and like a tan, I guess is the color, a, a GG keycap. I immediately put the, I don't know if you can see it there, the red cap on my drop control just for an extra little splash of color. Obviously the rainbow vomit RGB wasn't enough. Now there's no software for the mouse. The CPI button on the bottom provides eight different sensitivities. So basically the vast majority of people will be perfectly covered. The RGB is taken care of by a combination of clicks with the middle button and the right and left button. RGB looks really, really good, even though it doesn't completely match like the colorway, which is retro. I still really like it. There's like a bunch of different color patterns and all sorts of stuff. I mean, like what's just a little more unicorn crap on my desk, right? Plus you're getting all of this for, I don't know, basically 60, $70, kind of depending on the retailer and the color. We definitely paid a little bit of a premium for the retro edition. The PTFE glides on the bottom are just phenomenal. As I mentioned, I basically use the G502 Lightspeed most of the time. The glides on that are, I mean, they're fine. They're just not like unbelievable. But the M4 glides just feel like perfectly buttery. Like sometimes I just kind of sit here and like, mm, yeah, just use it as a worry stone. I mean, I don't really do that. I don't want to wear them out or something. But I do kind of wish worry stones felt like that. That'd be awesome. Looking at the pictures of the mouse, I was a little worried that it wouldn't fit my hand as I have, as I like to say, Linus size hands. They're, they're relatively small. But at 120 millimeters long, 68 millimeters wide, and 39 millimeters tall, it actually fits my hand really, really well. For FPS games, it actually fits my hands better, which I didn't think possible, than the 502. The sculpted right side provides just really a better platform for my fingers and feels, and it just feels a bit more natural. I'm a really, really big fan. Now, so far I've neglected to discuss the weight of the mouse because I wanted to include it while talking about the overall build quality. So this is an ultralight mouse. They've rated it at 71 grams, of course, without the cable. Compare that to the 502 and that's 114 grams according to their site. So that's a pretty big difference, but I've been a little leery about using an ultralight mouse as Boris the Blade once very famously said, heavy is good, heavy is reliable. I've always worried something meant to be super light like this and made of plastic was just gonna feel cheap. And like, even if something works, I just hate it when it feels cheap, you know? Well, with the M4, my fears were completely unfounded. Creaks are essentially non-existent and this thing just feels, it's light, but it feels really solid. There's no rattles or anything. This is essentially a lightweight tank. The buttons are all nice and clicky and satisfying and the mouse wheel gives really, really good feedback without being loud or clunky at all. Take a listen. Performance of the mouse didn't let me down either. I. Spoiler alert, I really love this mouse. Now, 
I'm kind of a lazy gamer, like I barely use my arm at all. It's mostly just kind of sitting here doing this. And I use palm grip, that's not really the lazy part. So I can't really speak past how I game, so past that. But this thing is freaking awesome. The glides are super smooth and it really does just kind of become an extension of my arm. I'm not thinking about it. I need to, you know, pull down a little bit to compensate for muscle rise. It just does it. And this is where the lazy part comes in. It's like no effort at all. It's just kind of, oh, it just, it moves. Really awesome. Now it fits my hands so well and it's so light that I was really able to make like the more minute adjustments to stay on target easier. I even won like a higher percentage of my gulag fights in Warzone. Now I was streaming Warzone the other day, um, streaming a battle in Discord to Corey who was waiting for us um, so he could join. And he even said he could see my aim just lock on and like it was better than normal. It really makes a big difference. Though when you switch over to regular multiplayer in Modern Warfare and play Shipment, it's the same old, same old spawn and die. The cable doesn't really get caught on anything either. And there's a lot for it to get caught on <laughs> behind my monitors right now. It's super light. I didn't even realize I was using a wired mouse instead of my wireless one. Really, really nice. Now I haven't had the mouse for that long, so I can't really speak to the longevity of the plastic, but it feels like the plastic will wear really, really well. I don't think, especially with this colorway, that you're gonna get those little discolorations or shininess, you know, where your fingers sit, unlike other mice. I was bemoaning the fact that the M4 didn't have any software to let me calibrate the mouse to the surface. Um, the first night I was playing, the mouse just kept the only word I can use to describe is jittering. It would just like twitch a little while slowly aiming and sometimes I would end up looking like straight up or like you know 180 degrees the opposite direction or down at the ground, like really, really frustrating. I had this issue with the Corsair M65 mouse too and it went away once I got it calibrated in the software. But since there's no software here, I thought I was just completely SOL and even though it felt really nice, like, I'd have to call it quits. But before doing that, I took the Logitech PowerPlay mat off my desk and just played on the Corsair desk mat that I have. Didn't have any issues with that. I'm not sure if just the 3389 sensor doesn't like that particular mat or if just all the skin cells that rubbed off are really affecting. But as long as I play on that Corsair mat, works perfectly. So ultimately, this mouse is really, really great. It fits my hands really well. The sensor is smooth and accurate. The RGB is there, so there's that depending on who you are. It's super light and lets you play longer without your like hand or arm or fingers getting as fatigued as a heavier mouse. The only reason I wouldn't recommend it is if you have like big monster size mitts and want like a big mouse for a palm grip. But if you have probably medium to small hands and grip the mouse in a similar way to me, this is a really, really great buy. My problem is now I have on my desk, I've got the G502 for daily use. There's the G600 for World of Warcraft. And now I need space for the Extrify M4 for all my FPS games. So thanks for watching everybody. If this review is helpful, hit the thumbs up and subscribe. Please, I wanna hear from you. Let us know in the comments below what other lightweight mice we should check out and we'll catch you in the next one. And it goes like